Hi, my name is Vinay and you are watching EdgeSmart. In this video, I am going to discuss a TCS previous year question as well as mock waiter question which is VMware. The question is pretty simple guys. There will be set of girls and set of boys. We call them brides and grooms as they are to be married soon. So as a coder, uh, what's your duty is? You need to find a pair from the brides and the grooms if their preferences matches. Now the preferences is represented with R and M. This question seems to be somehow confusion. Uh, don't worry, I will make it clear for you. Uh, the question asks you to print the number of unmatched pairs from the set of brides and the grooms. Now as the question says it is a swayamvar, the power lies within the girl to choose whether a boy or not. Even within the girls, the power lies within the first girl. So if the first girl, so the highest power lies with the first girl. And if the first girl finds her choice of groom, she will allow the next girl to choose her groom. Similarly, if the second girl uh, finds a groom of her choice, she will allow the third girl to choose her groom. So on, so, so forth. It will move on like that. Okay. So let us uh, think that the third girl did not find her choice of groom. Okay. She did not find a boy of her like. So what she will do is she will not allow the next girl to choose her groom. So this is the process. So what you need to do is you need to check whether the first girl uh, meets her boy or not. Similarly, so the second girl meets her or not. So if the girl meets a boy of her choice, we will increase the pair. That means we will count them as a pair. And if she did not find uh, a groom of her choice, we will stop the process because she will not allow the remaining girls to choose their groom. So that question is simple and what you need to do is simple. And my logic will also be told in this. Don't worry about that. So I'll tell you with an example here. The example is there is four brides and four grooms. Okay. The first bride's choices are second bride's choices are M M. First groom's choice is M. Second R M R. Okay. Now we have found that the first girl. We will start from the first girl. Her choices are we will move for the first boy. The boy's preference is M, so they are not matched. The second boy's preference is R here. So we will match these two as a pair. So we have successfully one, we have successfully got a pair. Now we will move on to the second groom, sorry, second bride because the first bride has been matched. Now the second bride will be matched with this R, right? Uh, okay, we got another pair. Now we will move on to the next bride, M. We will choose from this. So we will got, so this is also matched. So this is also matched. So we have got four pairs. So what we have to print unmatched pairs. What are the unmatched pairs here? Zero. So the output should be zero, not four. Okay. The output should be zero because there are no unmatched pairs in this case. So let us talk about this case. Here also four brides and four grooms. The first bride is M. She has found her choice in the first grooms list. So we will match them as a pair. Coming to the second girl, the second girl's choice is R. But there is no groom of choice R here. If you iterate through this list, there is no choice of R found in this list. So what we have to do, we will stop the process because this bride will never let the remaining girls to choose their grooms, right? So we'll stop the process and will this three will be remaining as unmatched. So this six people will be unmatched pairs and only the first people of bride and the first groom will be matched. So the output, output should be three, right? This is the thing that we need to do. So my logic of solving this question is I will take the number of brides in a list, the next grooms in a list. I will take uh, a bride. I will take the first bride and I will check in the grooms list. If her choice is found, I will increase them as a pair and I will move on to the next bride. If her choice is found, I will move. I will increase that as a pair and I will move on to the next girl. And if I did not find any of her choice in the grooms list, I will simply exit the loop and I will print the remaining number of people. Okay, that is what the question asks. So this simple logic. Okay, uh, actually the question does not uh, seem this easy in the question paper. They have made it bit lengthy because uh, these people like asking questions in a very different manner. The question is not really tough, but the way of they ask is tough. So you need to have this concept of uh, interpretation. You should be able to interpret the question very well. You need to analyze the question and solve the question. So that's my logic. Uh, 
So in order to reduce the complexity of this question, what I will be doing is whenever I found a match, I will remove that person from the groom's list. So you need not iterate through the first again and again. So if you found a match, I will remove that person. So my length will decrease by one. So in the first iteration, my length will become from three here. So in the first iteration, when I found this R and R, I will remove this R from the list and the list will become MMR. In the next iteration, I will remove another R and the groom's list will become MM. So in each and every iteration, I will be decreasing by one, one, one. Okay. So you will not get a complexity of N square here. So that's how we will be solving this question. Let us solve through this uh, coding question in Python. Uh, okay. Let me use of an online compiler to solve this question. So this is an online compiler. As the question input, as you have seen, first input should be the number of people. The number of people should be always the girls and the boys are equal. We need to take int of input because the input should be integer. So we've got our input integer and we'll be taking the brides list. Taking in Python, we do not have arrays. We will implement arrays in the form of list. So I'm using list. So I will be taking in so each and every for example for i in input. So I got my input here. This will make a list. I have utilized a for loop to take the input. So as many as you give, I will be taking in the brides list. So for i in input, i is taken as element in brides list. Similarly for groom, I will be taking groom. And here as well, I'm preparing uh, another list for i, i for i input. We are not going to uh, split the input because we'll be taking this as a string like in input. Okay, we are not going to use a space in between the groom and uh, sorry in bride's positions. Okay, so I'll be using a count variable to represent the number of successful pairs. So I'll be initializing with zero to increase the counter in the remaining cases. So I will be implementing a for loop for i in uh, we'll be taking the brides right we'll be iterating on brides right we will take a first bride and we will choose whether she got her married or not like she get her choice or not we'll move on from this first element to so the second element third element in the brides list so the outer loop should be brides and I'll be implementing if loop if i groom So we'll be taking i in bride and we'll be checking if i in groom. So we'll be taking i in bride and we'll be checking that i is present in groom or not. If that is present, what I will do is I will increment my count by one. That is a successful pair, right? Now what I will do is I will remove that groom from that so that my tenth is removed, right? I will remove that present like that person from the groom's list. Groom dot remove i. So in case we cannot find such uh, what we call there is no pair of her choice like groom's choice for every for any i if there is no groom uh, fulfilling the i's choice we will simply exit the process that means we will break the process there I will be breaking that's how it solves so finally I will print the remaining pairs like unmatched pairs so how will you find the unmatched pairs unmatched pairs is always n minus counted pairs like matched pairs right n minus counted pairs the counted pairs are count nothing but counted pairs are nothing but married chosen pairs whoever got successfully matched now let me try solving this now let me just try running this so let us take the example as 4 and my input of bytes is rr mm and for grooms my input is mr mr if you see here we will be getting a pair here so the output should be 0 so we successfully got output 0 well, let us move on to another test case we will solve it so let us take it again 4 and let me take it as R M M R. sorry R M R M. ok anything else is fine here so I am going to choose M M M M so I have chosen everybody as M here so that the first girl is never getting her choice so we will simply quit the process and the output should be 4. So nobody is matched here. So the output is 4. 
that's how i solve this problem i hope you understood this in python thank you so much for watching this video